Wake up. Tanya. Mm -hmm. Wake up. Santa came. What? Oh my goodness. It's freaking Christmas. It's a bus build Christmas if I ever saw one. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Good morning, everybody. So today we are going to start off by taking you on a trip to Home Depot. Uh, when it comes to bus building adventures, you never know what you're going to need. So we compiled a list of things that we need to do or to get so that way we can start. And we'll show you more later. Honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright So the truth is, one of the reasons why we're coming back to Home Depot today. Yeah, tell them, Bug. <laughs> so we showed you in the last video that we actually bought plywood, but that's not true. So realistically, we tried to fit it into the white bus and it didn't fit. Uh, we tried every way that we possibly could and there was just no way around it. So we had to take it back and bring the yellow bus today so that way we could fit the plywood in there on top of that we have to get a few other things but that is the main reason why we are <laughs> at the Home Depot and the truth is it's the reality of bus build nothing ever is perfect we're not perfect and you just have to learn to roll with the punches so let's go shopping Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> we fit. <laughs> that scared me. Just giving her a rinse down. Getting rid of all the yellow 
from the standing that Dustin did last weekend. All right, so we are back from our trip to Home Depot. And one of the things that we got in our packages, Christmas gifts, our Christmas gifts was this stuff right here. So this is called Rattle Trap. And basically what it is, is just this thin little piece of material that we put down and it's going to block out a lot of the road noise. And so we put it underneath the plywood and it's really just supposed to help us out with, so blocking out the road noise and any extra little rattling noise that you might hear as you're traveling down the road. So we just finished up the rattle trap. Tanya's picking up a few last things. We did come up short in the corners. We knew we were five cubic feet short. It was like another hundred dollars to get them five cubic feet. And they are actually in the garage and they'll be under the bed, behind a wall. And so the, the noise or the, or the road is not going to come through from there. So that was why we started from the front. We went backwards. We're not too concerned. But Tanya said you can now spin around. All right, guys. So now the fun begins. The one where the porridge is too, too cold, too hot, just right. But we kind of got that situation going on. So we have these screws that are a little too short. And then we found these other screws that are a little too long. So now we're heading back to Home Depot for round two to get screws that are just right. So other than a few tough drilling spots, we found the right screws. Alright guys, so I would say we had a very successful day getting the floor done. Now I think we're going to go upstairs, we're going to have some dinner, and I think we're just going to call it a night and get back to it tomorrow. Good morning, welcome back to day two. You're not going to believe this, but we're going to start out with... Home a... Depot! <laughs> yeah! So let's go show you what we buy today.
So when you find the exact fridge you're looking for, you buy it. What do you think of our new flooring? Pretty snazzy, huh? We're back. Back from our little run getting groceries, Home Depot. Got ourselves a nice clean slate here. So now we're gonna get to work and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna paint. All right, so we decided to paint the floor with some kills, which is mildew and mold resistant, just because we'll be in hotter temperatures and colder temperatures and by the ocean and in the mountains. So I'm just stirring up some freaking paint and then we're gonna try to splatter it all over the floor. guys so we're to one of my favorite parts of uh, switching over buses and that is going to be the stickers so I'm peeling Tanya's peeling the ones off the other bus and I'm putting them up in here so follow along all right guys so we got a ton of our stickers back some of these have been on a hell of a journey. This Osprey sticker right here was our first sticker ever when we started the cooler sticker wall. We just had a cooler. Obviously you can tell some of these are really worn, really tattered and have been through a ton of trips. So we were fortunate, we were able to save some. We're glad. I love the sticker wall. And it's just crazy to think that we've came this far and. 20 months. Been on a lot of cool trips. Plenty more to come. What? What'd you think that was? I'm just gonna put a bunch of gap sealant here in the edges. That way the bus is completely sealed off. We decided to take a break for lunch and one of the places we like to get food from is Chipotle. It's one of our go-to favorite places and sometimes when we're busy and we're in the middle of working, we really don't want to take the time to stop and cook a meal. So I'm actually finishing mine up right now. What are some of your go-to places when it comes to food? Post in the comments below. Alright, so the next project we are doing is we are putting in our garage flooring. What do you think of the colors? <laughs> well, got the garage floor done. I love the color. I'm glad Benito. we went with it. Yes. But when you get the garage done, you hang out in the garage and That's you have a freaking beer. Do. to the next thing. Next order of business, making the bed frame in our new garage. All right guys, so I think we're gonna call it a night. Um, we're starting to pick things up a little bit here, finish things up. Um, we got quite a bit of stuff done in the last couple of days and we're both pretty exhausted, but I think 
what we try to show you was that no matter how perfect you think things are, bus building is not perfect. And you know, sometimes you just never have the right things and you have to make multiple trips to Home Depot, which we showed you. Um, but that's just the reality of things. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please hit that like button. If you enjoy following along on our journey, please hit the subscribe button. And don't forget about our road trip squad. Um, we would love to have you. And with that, that's it guys. Peace out. Well, got the garage floor done, which means the garage is done. The which, garage is done. Which means there's only one thing you do when you get the garage done. Still beer all over the floor. <laughs> Go, bro, stop video. <laughs>